Hey guys, today I am going to Penn State University. Wish me luck. Put your hands out in front of you again, this time palms facing each other. Go ahead and close your eyes. I want you to imagine the palms of your hands. The palms of those hands are two extremely powerful magnets. Those magnets are becoming stronger and stronger, pulling those hands closer and closer together. The closer those hands get, the more relaxed you become. And the moment, the moment those hands touch, you just let yourself relax all the way down to this nice deep relaxed state. As those magnets become stronger and stronger, pulling those hands closer and closer together, the closer they get, the more relaxed you become. The moment they touch, you just drop all the way down to this nice deep relaxed state. Closer and closer, stronger and stronger, more and more relaxed and sleep. Oh, that's right. More and more relaxed, closer and closer, stronger and stronger, more and more relaxed. That's right, both doing absolutely wonderful. You're like even deeper, deeper, and deeper, and deeper. Feel you loose, lift and relax. Like Brian Dole, like go and spaghetti. Lift and relax. That's right, deeper, deeper. That's right, deeper, deeper, more relaxed. That's right. Now, in a moment, I'm happy up your eyes. What you'll find is just for today, just for today, only on the lawn here, and only by me. Whenever I snap my fingers and say towards sleep, your eyes will immediately close and you'll immediately drop right back down to this nice deep relaxed state. Because you realize how good this state feels and you want to jump on every opportunity you can get to return to this nice deep relaxed state. Now you can understand. Good. So just for today, just for today, only on the lawn here and only by me, whenever I snap and say sleep, your eyes close and you immediately drop right back down to this nice deep relaxed state. Now I'm going to count from one to three. Range number three, you're going to open your eyes, feeling fantastic in every single way. But when I snap, say sleep, you drop right back down. And one, two, three, eyes open, feeling great. Hey, you guys, feeling? Good. Good. Awesome. You got here for me? Sleep. That's right. All the way down. Even deeper. That's right. Even deeper. And every time I bring you up, take you back down. Every time I bring you up, take you back down. You go even deeper than you were before. Even deeper than you were before. That's right. Deeper and deeper. More and more. And one, two, three. Eyes open. And sleep. All the way up. Even deeper. That's right. Even deeper. Deeper and deeper. More and more. One, two, three. Eyes open. Sleep. All the way up. Even deeper. That's right. Deeper and deeper. More and more. So that's called fractionation. So, like, if you think of fractionation. So, if you think of, like, in the morning when you had to wake up and hit your snooze, you go back to sleep and you, you hit your snooze again. Yeah. And each time it keeps getting harder to wake up and hit that snooze button, it's the same exact thing. Each time you want to be kind of That's right, even deeper. All right, let's see here. I'm going to take this hand. I'm going to take this hand. What you're going to find is this hand is stuck tight. This hand is stuck tight. You lock some of it's stuck tight. Hand, what you're going to find is this hand is stuck tight, stuck tight, glue block cemented, stuck tight, stuck tight. It's like this head and this hand were carved from the same block of wood. You build in one piece, glue block cemented, stuck tight, stuck tight. And if you were to try, if you were to try to move that hand, what you would find is you just wouldn't be able to because it would just stick even tighter. In fact, the harder you try to remove that hand, the harder you try to remove that hand, the more it sticks. And it sticks even tighter the harder you try to remove it. And one, two, three, eyes open, and try, try, and it sticks even tighter. The harder you try, the more it sticks, it sticks even tighter. The harder you try, try really hard, it just sticks even tighter. It sticks even tighter. Try really hard, it sticks even tighter. Try using the other hand to get it off, and it just sticks even tighter. Try, and those hands are stuck. Who looks so much is stuck. Try to move either hand, and it just sticks even tighter. It sticks even tighter. Really try, try really hard, they just stick. They just stick. Huh. You can stop trying now. Well, that's a problem, right? So you can't leave your hands stuck up there, can we? Well, what if you have to eat something or cut on your computer? All right? Here's what I'll do. I'll snap my fingers. As soon as I snap my fingers, they immediately come off. As soon as they come off, though, butts stuck to the ground. Try and stand, and it just sticks. Really try and stand, it just sticks even more. The more you try, the more it sticks. It just keeps sticking tighter and tighter. Try really hard. Are you trying? It just sticks. It just sticks. Really try, it just sticks even more. It just sticks. Are you really trying? 
It just sticks. It sticks more and more. Here. Here's my wallet. It's got some cash in it, some other stuff. You can stand up, walk over here and pick it up. You can have whatever you want from inside. It just sticks even more. How are you trying more? It sticks. It sticks even more. All you have to do is come grab it. What? Right. Five, what? four, three, two, one. So you don't want this offer? All right, sorry, offer's gone. I'll snap my fingers, your butts are unstuck. <laughs> hey, you can move this fine now, all right? Yeah. Oh. Look right here. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Deeper, deeper. That's right. Deeper, deeper. More, more. Deeper, deeper. That's right. And you can giggle. And the more you giggle, the deeper you go. And the deeper you go, the better you feel. That's right. You can giggle and you just go deeper and deeper. The number between three and five is temporarily gone from your memory. In fact, it's like that number never even existed. It's like when you're in elementary school and you learned how to count to ten, you learn that, that it went one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. That's just how it's always been. That number between three and five is temporarily gone from your memory. Okay, I can understand. Also, if anyone were to tell you that number, you wouldn't recognize it as a number. If anyone were to say that number, it would be like them saying to you, Gorp, it's not a word. It, it's something you just don't recognize at all. Good. Just the person I'm touching right now, just the person I'm touching right now, and won't have their eyes. What you'll find is that your name, your name is temporarily gone from your memory. Your name is just temporarily gone from your memory. It's like when you see someone you know and you recognize their face, you just can't remember what their name is. Like someone took your phone, but you just can't recall their name. The same thing now with your own name. It's just temporarily gone from your memory. Not even going to say. Good. And one, two, three. Eyes open. Can I just do something for me real quick? Can I just put your hands out like this? What I'm going to do is I'm going to point to each finger. I want you to count out loud the number of the finger. All right? Just the beat. One. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. How many fingers do people normally have? Ten. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's try counting them again. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Do you have 10 fingers, 11 fingers, or 12 fingers? 10. Well, let's try counting them again. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. How many wheels on a tricycle? Nine. How many wheels on a car? Five. And I'm sorry, your name was Lucy, Lucy and you are. <laughs> I'm Brandon, your name is.
But you'll find I snapped my fingers and your name's back, your name's Jenna. So I'm Brandon, what's your name? Jenna. My name's Jenna. 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 Nice to meet you, Jenna. So, do you have your <laughs> driver's license on you? <laughs> <laughs> so, pull out and say Jenna, right? That's your name. Okay, got it wrong or? Right. Says Melissa. Is Melissa, your name? No. Oh, your name's what? Eyes open. So, I have this thing in the iPad a lot. I don't understand why. Do you want to see it? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> so what's so funny? You're really just laughing. Am I funny? No. Funny looking maybe, but... <laughs> was it this? In a moment, I have you up your eyes. What you'll find is both of you, both of you are completely drunk. You are completely <laughs> smashed. This is a special kind of drunk, though. This is a hypnotic drunk. So it's a little different. What's special about this is that it doesn't have any negative side effects. So you're not going to feel like vomiting. No matter how drunk you get, you won't feel like vomiting. You'll still get a little bit of dizzies, and you might lose your coordination a little bit, and your words might slur some, but you'll never get for to go. you never feel like throwing up, and you'll always remain safe. You'll never fall over in this hypnotic drum. You might stumble around, but you'll never fall over. Now you have to understand. Good. Both of you completely smashed. And one, two, three. Eyes uh, open. How are you ladies feeling? Good. Guys, hold your finger out like this and touch your nose. <laughs> Alright, not bad. Ten more shots. <laughs> they both just tip back. Oh god. <laughs> you alright? I don't think 
Oh my god, fuck. <laughs> 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 High five. <laughs> no, I'm <except thanks. laughs> You want to try standing up? Fuck. <laughs> 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 I don't want to snap my fingers like you'll find. You're not drunk at all. You're just high. Hey, girls, feel it. It's me on all right. Hey, you're back to normal. Good. That was interesting. You know what the funny thing is, though? I ain't drunk again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> and you're back to normal. Look right here. Sleep. Oh, yeah. You need to. And I'm all heavy open your eyes. What you find in my hand, I have a belt. But there's something special about this belt. What you're gonna find is that. Whenever I make a certain sound, this belt seems to become something else entirely. Something maybe you wouldn't want to have on your person. And one, two, three, eyes open. So I have this belt here. Just an ordinary belt. Nothing special about it. Touching my belt. Usually when I'm doing this, um, it's only a guy too. And usually I have his belt, which makes it a little more funny. But for this instance, I'll just use my belt. Watch what happens when I twist my wrist. Oh my god, no. Just don't want it here. No, absolutely not. Just don't want it here. Just none of that. No, put that. Stop. I just don't want it Oh my god. All right. Stop. All right, enough. Enough. Well, don't you like them? No. Well, don't pat them. No. See, there's a good snake. That's crazy. Sorry. Ah, uh, this pesky guy. So you trying to go on? No, 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 smells really good. Like the best smell ever. Like your favorite smell times a million. It's just absolutely fantastic. It's the best smell you have ever smelled. You just want to take, you're gonna want to take a big whiff, kind of cling to the other person, really take in that smell. That is, until I clap my hands. As soon as I clap my hands, the person next to you goes from having the best smell ever 
to smelling the stinkiest, most terrible smell you have ever smelled. It is the worst smell ever. It'll never make you throw up, but uh, it's just barely not making you throw up. It's so terrible. So, it's just a terrible smell. And you'll kind of put yourself away from them, maybe scoot over a little bit. You won't get up and run, but you'll just scoot away a little bit. That is until I caught my hands again. When I caught my hands a second time, it goes back to being the best smell ever, and so on. You're not okay if you understand. Good. Starting off with the best smell, and one, two, three, eyes open. You smell that. That smells really good. <laughs> Ooh, you smell that. You are awesome. What is that smell? That's terrible. It's like something died and then came back to life and died again. And then fell in manure. Smells back to normal. Oh, that's terrible. And one, two, three, eyes open. Can I get you girls to do something for me real quick? Can you quickly just count up to ten together? So, one, one two, two, three, four, five, six. Freeze. Seven. Move. Eight, nine, ten. How long did that take you to do? Ten seconds, right? Yeah. There weren't any pauses or breaks in between or anything? No? Just straight through? So what I have here is a deck of playing cards. I'm actually a, a Lock Haven alumni, so they're Lock Haven brand, which all that meant is they cost much more than they should have. So it's a completely ordinary deck of cards. So let me get these deck of cards from the shuffle. And not only am I a great hypnotist, but I'm also an amazing magician. So we're gonna do a little card trick. I want you both to pick a card, don't show me your card, and once you have your card memorized, put it behind your back. So both of you got it, you got memorized. You know what your card is. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to guess your card. You ready? Freeze. Three of hearts, five of diamonds. Did I get it? You switched it. 
That wasn't the card you originally had? No. What card did you have originally? Four of Spades. You know this one? Yeah. It's right here in my deck. Uh. Do you think you had a different card? Try this. Put the card in your hand like this. Face it towards yourself. Face it towards me. Freeze. I lost it. It's alright. This one suggestion only applies to that. So this is not to worry about it. Move. Turn it back towards yourself. That's it's not my card. Alright. Now date one better. Pinch it like this. I'll flick it, it'll change. Alright? Ready? Yeah. Freeze. Move. And Queen's had a sex change. What? No. You're looking at me like I grew two heads. No. Well, I, I can do one better. Not only. Can I change cards? I can also teleport. No. Don't believe me? No. Go watch. I'll teleport right over there. Ready? Freeze. <coughs> Move. And I'm over here. I'm actually magic. It's not a trick. It's, it's actual real magic. Yeah. But not only can I teleport myself, I can teleport other people as well. And not just whole people, but I can just teleport limbs to different spots. Not like all, but like one moment you're sitting here normally in the next freeze. Someone scored a field goal. It's no. good. Can I move my arms? Yeah. So your arms. I mean, did you put your arms up? No. So maybe they're not completely your arms, but for the most part, they're your arms. I'll never lose a rock, paper, scissors. I never. always lose. No. <laughs> well, then I'll never win a rock, paper, scissors. How about that? Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot, freeze. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> hmm.
Yeah, I can just, I'm magic, I can teleport things around. Yeah. How? Oh. I'm telling the truth. I mean, I teleport over there, your arms ended up like this, you just one rock, paper, scissors. Trying to get some feedback. <laughs> uh -huh. You still don't believe me? No. Even though I go from being here, freeze. Like I do, but like I don't. It's like me being here and the next moment, freeze. Move. Me being over here isn't. It's like I know how you're doing it, but I don't want to not believe you. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Like right here then? Sleep. Oh man. Even deeper. Deeper, more and more relaxed. Start all the way up. Even deeper. How can you do a proper wake up for you real quick? Okay. Sleep. Say the word sleep. What you'll find is that whenever you say the word sleep, you drop right back down to the most. It's just like me snapping and saying the word sleep anytime you say the word sleep. I can have you understand. And one, two, three. Hands up. Feeling good? Mm -hmm. Nice and relaxed? Yeah. <laughs> so, what's that thing you do at night when you lay down in bed again? You go to sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Even deeper. Yeah. And I want the three eyes open. So what is it? Just. <laughs> and I want the three eyes open. mind of itself magnetically attracted to your forehead. When it touches, it's going to put you back into a mouse is trying to fight it. The more you try and fight it, the further it goes, and the more you try and fight it, it just has a mind of its own. Really try and fight it, and the more you try and fight it, the more it pushes. Try using the other hand, really try and fight it, just keep pushing, keeps pushing. Really try, really try. It's going to put you back into a mouse. It's going to hurry up. It's going to keep trying. Keep trying. As soon as it touches, it drop right back down. Come on, keep trying. Really fight it. Fight it as long as you can. And all the way down. <laughs> Even deeper. <laughs> deeper, deeper. More and more relaxed. <laughs> One, two, three. Eyes open. See this here? Yeah. This is my sleep gun. It's made by Nerf, so it doesn't hurt anyone. Mm -hmm. So, what's interesting about it is you shoot people with it, and what it does is it puts them to sleep, so it doesn't hurt anyone. So, for example, all the way down. <laughs> Even deeper. And one, two, three. Eyes open. Works just like that. Want to give it a try? Yeah. Try shooting me. Well, try again. Uh, cock it. Hmm. This is like something stuck in the barrel. Oh, yeah. You need her. First rule of guns don't do that. You need to be more relaxed. In a moment, I'll have you open your eyes. What you'll find is that whenever you make goggles with your hands, whenever you make goggles with your hands and hold them up to your eyes, you have x-ray vision. Whenever you make goggles with your hands and hold them up to your eyes, you have x-ray vision. And it's variable x-ray vision. You'll be able to see through whatever it is you want to see through. In one setting, you'll probably see through clothes. In another setting, it'll look like an x-ray and you'll see bones. 
and then even on another setting, you'll be able to look completely through the ground. Then you have to understand. Good. So when you make all your hands, hold them up to your eyes, you have X-ray vision. And one, two, three, eyes open. Have you ever tried going like this? What? <laughs> wow. Um. So what are you seeing? I see classrooms. Oh, that's cool. What about when you look at me? What do you see? You're laughing. <laughs> what, what do you see? Nothing. Nothing? No. Nothing. No. Let me try twisting them a little bit. I think you can do a different. No, what are you seeing? I see your bones. Oh, that's cool. The actual bones, right? Not the other one? Your bones. <laughs> your bones. Can I fix my hair? Yeah. You can put your goggles down if you want. My sign of fear is what you find. It's not, it's not that you have extra vision. It's just everyone else besides you are naked. Everyone's fully clothed and you no longer have x-ray vision. <laughs> so right now you can remember everything that okay, happened. Yeah. And then you can decide for tomorrow whether you'll continue to remember it yeah. all or not. Also. Like sometimes I knew that like Wait, what was back. Sometimes I knew it was happening, but I didn't want to not do what you were saying. Right. Like like it was the it was the like I didn't want to not like, like I, I, I was trying really hard to like say my name. I was like I'm I was like I'm not gonna like, like Yeah, so I I'm think I knew it. I you I, didn't, I, like, I knew yeah, you remembered it, thing. but yeah. it was just like, Wait, you couldn't like, say it. Wait, like, I have a question. So what if like we had somehow like intervened with them? Like, I feel like they didn't know I was that we mad were, at we were like crap. You were up. I was mad at you. You were so I, mean I, to I, I wanted to apologize, but I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> I was we were so, so mean. I were like, no. I, well, that's what I, because that's when I knew that like I, like I knew it was happening, but like I couldn't say, I, like I couldn't say it. Like I just like. <laughs> I was so mad at you. I couldn't tell you why I was mad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was so well, thank weird. you. Yeah, no, thank, thank you. That you. was thank really you. cool. When can we hey guys, thanks for watching. If you would like to be hypnotized by me, check out the description down below for ways to get in contact. And if you like what you saw here, consider subscribing by clicking this icon. And now, when I snap my fingers, in my place you'll find a video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy.